Do you have any thoughts have... on the existence of free will? Do you think you have free will? And if not, then <laughs> why not? If so, why so? And how are you defining it? I thought about this a bit, and what I eventually came to the conclusion was that I didn't even know how to define what free will was. So if you can't define something precisely, it makes it very hard to discuss. And in fact, this, the, the, this is a big problem with an awful lot of philosophical questions. If you, if you look at them close enough, you discover that the terms in them are simply not well defined enough to talk about. So can you even define free will? Can you talk about it, not as a mathematician, but let's say as a regular person? About what? Free will? About free will. Now, what you're saying is that there's the slippery definition, but so there is also a slippery definition as to what constitutes a chair or I or you. And presumably yeah. you've used those in sentences before with facility. Well, that, So can you do the same yeah, with well, free will? I, I can sort of vaguely define a chair in some way that I can most of the time recognize a chair. I've, I've tried to define free will and I just cannot come up with a definition. I've poked around a bit and as far as I can figure out, nobody else has come up with a convincing definition either. I mean, you, you certainly have this feeling in, inside yourself that you can choose what to do, but um, you know, maybe this feeling is an illusion and everything we do is determined by some laws of physics and we just have this illusion that we're choosing what these laws of physics do. But I, I don't know, I, mean, I, I can't even define what is meant by having a feeling that we, we can choose what to do. So you're agnostic on the issue? I'm, I, I think it's even worse than being agnostic. I, I'd say I, I don't, I, I'm not saying I don't know what the answer to the question is. I'm saying I, I don't even know what the question means. And I'm not at all sure that it even makes sense. What about God? Do you believe in God? And do you so, have similar same feelings problem. there? Uh, before we start discussing God, I would like you to define what you mean by the term God, because there are so many different definitions. Um, so you could have a God of your favorite religion saying it's this guy who maybe zaps people with thunderbolts or whatever. Or you could say, you know, God is just a name for the underlying essence of the universe, which is sort of maybe meaningless. But you could say in, in that sense, God exists because it's God is just a name for whatever the explanation of the universe is. So there are all these different possible definitions of God and some of them. The, the, you, you could reasonably say they do exist. Some of them you could say there seems to be very little evidence for it and others it's just not clear what the question means. So before discussing this philosophical question let's first have some precise definitions. You mentioned one that God is the universe in some way shape or form. Now why is that meaningless? Well it because it's just words. It doesn't actually tell you anything more about the universe that you didn't already know. Um, so that, that, there's a whole lot of questions like this. You could say, you know, the, the universe is really a simulation or the universe is um, a cellular automaton or maybe there are lots of parallel universes and none of these actually say anything whatsoever about the universe. I mean, they're, they're all great plots for comic book stories or whatever, but you know, what, what's the difference between the universe being a cellular automaton and the universe not being a cellular automaton? Well, I've there just doesn't seem to be any difference. Or what, what's the universe, what's the difference between there being a sort of pantheistic God underlying everything or there not being a pantheistic God? Well, I've no idea. It, it just seems to be a content-free sentence. In your psychology, in your mindset, nothing would be changed if you found out that you were the only conscious person or that you were living in a dream. I don't know how I could tell the difference between being the only conscious person or not being the only conscious person. I mean, I assume other people are conscious just by analogy with myself, but I, I can't imagine any experiment that could actually prove beyond doubt that someone else was really conscious rather than just a, rather than just a computer program running inside someone's brain. Okay. Again, again it's this problem of what is free will. I, I can't think of any experiment that can tell the difference between having free will and not having free will. Okay. How about this? I imagine that there is no experiment that can test whether you love your wife or your wife loves you. Yet I imagine also that the answer to that matters to you. So in a similar, yeah. well, does it first of all? Well, it's, it's, a, it's another of these terms that's really hard to define. I mean, I'm, 
I, I think this is this is another question about my internal state of mind, which, as I've noticed in several of your other questions, I have a very hard time figuring out what my internal state of mind actually is. Is that because you're not introspective? Do you tend to think about yourself or do you just tend to think outside yourself? I, I do sometimes think about myself and the conclusion I tend to come to is that I've absolutely no idea what is going on. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's a problem that I've, that completely baffles me. I mean, I've, I've no idea what is going on in my own mind, let alone what is going on in other people's minds.